Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are going to be our 2020 year overview videos. These are extremely important because we are coming into an era that some people are coining the golden era, you know, a quest towards the golden consciousness, all of those things. So we're going to see a lot of density blowing out of our lives, out of our world, and it might throw you off a little bit. So I wanted to do these videos so that you could be prepared <laughs> and you could have your energy set so that, you know, as things start to unfold, you can go with the flow, you can observe without investing and you'll be okay. All right. These are not scary times. These are not, this is not a threat. These are not videos to be like danger, 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 watch out. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about being in your awareness. So through these videos, it's my hope and my intention that this gives you uh, some bit of good information, something that will help you per sign. <laughs> and that's just to divvy up the audience. That way I can focus in on different energetic groups and, you know, make sure you're watching for your sun, your moon, your rising. You might want to watch for your Venus sign, you know, whatever works for you. But hopefully the information that comes through is exactly what you need to hear throughout the year to help you remain centered and be able to roll with whatever's coming right? <laughs> so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will leave information in the description box below on courses. I may be putting out some courses having to do with getting prepared for 2020 and lots of other things. There's tons, there's a huge library of stuff there. So go check that out. And of course, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below as well. If you want to just support me by subscribing and hitting that like, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Hey there, Libra. Let's see what's going on for you for 2020. But before we get into that, it's imperative that you go back and watch my 2020 video that lays the foundation for these videos. I will link it somewhere in this video or down below. And uh, also how to listen to this video. That's really important too, because if you're listening to this about me, 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 um, what's going to be happening in my life, but you know, all that stuff, that's not how to listen to this video. This is about how you can get into your higher consciousness for the highest good of everyone, how you can raise your vibration to join the collective vibration and raise the entire vibration of the planet. Yeah, that's evolution. <laughs> so that's how we want to approach this. So let's get you some cards. Yes, I'm still using cards. You might want to check out some of the other signs to get the explanation, but basically it's what helps people connect. We don't need these anymore. We probably won't need a lot of divination tools. I think we'll be getting to a time where divination tools will be done just for the nostalgia of it, right? Okay. You're breaking free. You guys have wild and free times. But what's really interesting is you're breaking away uh, in a manner from your ego. Right? So there's something very freeing about no longer uh, needing to worry about what other people think of you. There's something very freeing about moving forward in a very authentic way. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we have the judgment right then and there, right then and there. You are freeing yourselves from judgment. You're not judging others. You're not judging yourself. You're not judging your life. Oh, I should be here at this time. Look at how those three lights go all the way up. That's what's happening to you. It's like you're getting in an elevator <laughs> with your ascension and your spiritual growth and you're just moving on up. Now, moving up in ascension, ascension, right? Moving up is uh, how we humans perceive that. But really there is no such thing as moving up into a higher, higher consciousness. It's already there. It's already been there. It's getting awakened within you, you are starting to remember, again, if you guys haven't seen my video on the latest on numeric codes and what it's doing on a soul level, I will link that here. If I remember, if I don't, go check it out, okay? <laughs> I, I have a lot of videos to edit. Hopefully I can remember to do that. Anyway, this judgment card is saying you are freeing yourself from the perception of society even. It's like the conditioning that you have lived with. You're going, it doesn't serve me. And it's not even coming from the intellect. It's from the heart space. And it's it's a gentle release. 
And what happens is, is that the, the ego, which is almost like a barking dog for you, starts to suddenly settle down. It's having a seat, right? It's not, it's not gonna mess around anymore, right? So you're releasing judgment of yourself and others. And it's not, I wanna make this clear, it's not a full on rejection and rebellion of um, society. Because then we see people do this other thing. I used, to, I used to know these people who went completely to the dark side and they would go around telling everybody, oh no, we're not on the dark side. We're not just to lure them in. And then they started planting imagery and things like that. Guys, I got in with those people. I knew exactly what was going on. I knew I was supposed to observe this, not for me, but because I knew um, that these kind of people are out there and they're doing this to everybody. So I'm not talking about going completely the opposite way just to aggravate people because your ego is hurt from, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever upset you in life. You know, I'm not talking about overcorrecting. I'm talking about just a pure release where you're settled into your heart and you're just coming from that heart space. So this is a very promising car for you guys to have <laughs> right away, right away. All right. This card has come up for everybody. <laughs> ascension. All right. So I think the reason why we have this word ascension is it is a lifting out. As I said before, it's not like you actually have to um, fly out of density and go running up to your higher self or whatever. It's already existing within you. So this is turning the lights on, um, realizing that it's there and getting cozy with it. Yes. So this idea of ascension is more to me metaphorical. It's, it's um, I, I feel down here and I'm gonna rise out of this. So it's a, a rising of the frequency rather than this idea of, um, you know, another part of me is so far away that it's inaccessible. Does that make sense? So these two cards together, the, here, let me get them, the judgment and the ascension card, I'm gonna put down the deck. These two cards together is what your year is all about. That's your 2020 right there, yes? Now, how you get to this and how you get to this realization has to do with, you know, the stuff that really has always bothered you. You have to stop for a moment and go, why am I letting that bother me? Does it need to bother me? And, you know, historically with the 20, or excuse me, the 2012 stuff, it was all ego approaching solutions, right? So the ego going in here and going, I'm gonna pretend like that doesn't bother me because if I show that it bothers me, then I'm negative, right? So instead of the ego coming in and saying, okay, I have to manipulate this so it looks like I'm spiritual or I have to manipulate how I say things so that I look like I'm really PC. Again, I have seen narcissists who are really big animal advocates and people think that they're good people because they love animals. Um, or I've seen people on the dark side be super PC, right? Just because of how they look. They're completely egocentric. They're completely stuck in their ego and they're not understanding the expansiveness of their being. So we're not talking about, um, oh, I'm gonna pretend like that doesn't bother me. I'm gonna pretend you know, this, that, and the other so that I look a certain way, but rather being in that heart space and opening up and going, oh, yeah, that doesn't bother me anymore. I'm not, I understand, I forgive, you know, whatever it is for you, okay? Then we have <laughs> love. So here you go. The whole solution here is love. Now, if you're someone sitting there going, oh yeah, I've been wanting love, I want love, I want love, I want love. No, you don't want love. I'm gonna say it harshly. Five, four, three, two, one, brace yourself, okay? Hang on to your little whoobies, all right? Because it's about to get rough here. <laughs> you just want someone to save you. You want someone to distract you. You want someone to make you feel okay. And I don't blame you because I want the same thing. <laughs> but in 2020, that idea of, I just got to have somebody. I just got, why don't I have anybody? I don't want to have anybody. It's because you're learning your own independence. So when we talk about the love card coming up and this being a big thing in 2020, you're realizing what love really is. You're understanding the true nature of the vibration of love and you are vibrating at that state. Now you start experiencing love when you come out and you see a crystal blue sky. You're ignited with love. When you see a beautiful child, ignited with love. 
for me, I go to the zoo and I see those giraffes, uh, all the animals actually, there's not an animal at my zoo here that I don't love. <laughs> Even the snakes, I love the snakes. Um, you know, you get ignited by beauty and, and you know, animals and other people. And even if you now, here you go. Now, if you see a couple in the park and you can tell that they're in love, now you don't get jealous. You smile and you feel that love too, because you know, when you could feel when something is authentic, right? There's so a lot of other people out there who get into love partnerships because they want to be saved and they just want to look like they have somebody. Or um, I knew somebody who, I don't know if she had borderline personality disorder. I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert in that area, but um, I wondered if there wasn't something going on with her. Um, and one of the things that she kept saying to me was, you've been alone for how long? I can't imagine. I've always had somebody. And as I came to understand certain things about this person, that's why I brought out the borderline personality disorder. I wondered if that wasn't what was going on. I'm trying to have compassion and understanding here. But she seemed to not know who she was unless she was being defined by another. And this is why people get into toxic love partnerships. This is why they get into toxic friendships because they have to be defined, right? And they're, they're perfect partners for narcissists because they want to be defined and the narcissist wants to control somebody. And so we see these unhealthy dynamics all of the time. So for you in 2020, I think there's the potential here for you to have some awareness around what is authentic and what is just kind of put on and not having any judgment around that, not having any judgment, but just observing and going, okay, I get it now. I get the nature of love. And I know that everything I do create needs to come from a space of love. So that means serving your higher purpose, not so that you feel good about yourself as a human, but that you are actually contributing to the collective energy. So any kind of thing that you do for work, you're now doing it out of love and, and to serve. And that's when you are in the flow of life. Here you go, baby. This is your 2020, you ready? <laughs> so there are lots of inspirational things coming through for you, lots of new ideas, lots of directions you could go in, but it's not about, oh, you know, tell me my future so I can get ready for it or so that I can avoid it, <laughs> but allowing these serendipitous events to happen. So that might be, you know, meeting somebody who teaches you a great lesson or um, finally doing something that you never thought you could do, trying something new, expanding your awareness. Yes, lots of free flowing, lots of free flowing. And the serendipity could be, um, it's not like the universe trying to give you signs that you're on the right track necessarily. It's you creating it and you having a realization of, Oh, wow, I thought it and it came about. So this isn't, again, trying to be egotistical about that, <laughs> right? But rather uh, having that beautiful, serene moment of this is the true nature of us. This is the true nature of every being on this planet. Whoa, okay? So having some big uh, breakthrough with that. Now, let's get you a color card. And let's see what else we can offer you. Yeah, they're saying that there will be no need for magical thinking because when you, uh, magical thinking is escapism and that's trying to get away from your true nature. When you discover how beautiful your true nature is, you'll just be, you'll be in that state and there is no need to try to find a way out. Okay, so it's very freeing. There's that word. So for you guys, we have coral, allow flow and synchronicity into your life. <laughs> the number is 18. So there you go, guys. It's going to be this time where you're really in the flow. You're really understanding. There are no hangups anymore. I mean, it's not like your life is perfect necessarily, but you're definitely coming from this space of allowing. And in that space of allowing, you are able to think about, feel, um, you know, again, we're not shutting down the brain. You can still think about stuff, <laughs> right? But you're going to be online with the heart space as well. And now you're experiencing what the universe is. Now you're experiencing your part in it. You are experiencing your part in the universe. How amazing is that? All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I am sending you so much love and take care.